VideoProg Blogger is a newly launched video editing and conversion tool that was created by DJRT, one of the world's leading multimedia software providers of video and conversion solutions. Since its inception in 2006, the company has grown to become one of the leading providers of innovative multimedia applications. With over 9 million users from across the world, the software enables you to record your display iPhone and webcam. You can edit videos and also download videos online and convert them into different formats. It's like the Swiss Army knife of video related tools. It's easy, fast and stable. And it also has a wealth of features to help you post-process and reduce the file sizes of video footage taken on action cameras, smartphones and webcams. It's intuitive and capable vlogging software for all creators. Despite being free, it's full featured to help you make impressive edits for everyday creativity, special moments or fun. VideoProc Vlogger is perfect for beginners and creators who want easy, quick and stable software for hassle-free video recording, downloading, editing, conversion and processing. For instance, if you want to process and edit large video files from your camera, iPhone, Android, drone or any other device, this software offers you the ideal lightweight solution to edit those large 4K or HD video without your computer crashing or freezing. As soon as you launch the software, it will automatically detect your hardware and the default AI feature of it will accelerate your hardware to maximum to give you the best performance from the software. As soon as you launch the software, the project panel will pop up automatically. This is where you can customize your project lay and project location, video resolutions and frame rates. Currently, VideoProc supports video editing up to 4K 120fps. But for general editing, we usually go for 720 pixel and 30 fps. It's the most commonly used resolutions in YouTube video. All these settings could be easily modified according to your lead letter on Let's take a browse through what we have here in the main interface. At the top left is a media library. This is where we are going to place our clips in all of our media files later for the editing. Click the icon above to switch all the menus like transitions, titles and effects. Now move to the middle part of the screen. This will drop us into a preview panel. In here, you could check your editing results in real time. On the right hand is the inspector, where you could change the properties of the videos. Here is a toolbar and at the bottom of the interface is a timeline. To start our way, we are going to choose a background for the video. In that way, you could set a mood for your video. Clicking here, it will pop up your file window. Find one or multiple pieces of music that you want for your video together with the footage that you are going to build the video from click. Click open here or you could simply drag them all over and drop them in the software. The system will sort your files out automatically and you don't have to do anything about it. After importing, you could store your attitude to work. Since the video that I am working on is a game, I separate the audio track from the video first and to edit the music, select the audio and click on here and set fade in and fade out for your music. The next we will move to video editing. Generally, the ordinary footage that we shoot would be very long but sometimes we only need just a small part of it and this is where split comes to work. Well, drag your footage to video track at the top. Don't forget to mute the video if it comes with a soundtrack. If you want to do more precise editing, hover your mouse on the time runner and drag it to your right to ignore your timeline. In this way, you can see more frames within the timeline window. Find the left side or the starting point of the clip that you want to put in your video. Click on the split button here in the toolbar. Right click that clip and choose split, use the same way to split the other and here you will have your chapter clip. You could follow the same steps to split the other footage. One great thing about editing is that you could kick over the traces and let imagination fly like time and speed control well. We could apply variable speed to empower its definition. To do that, select the clip, click the speed button on the toolbar and here will pop up the speed at to window, choose a preset. Drag the playhead to a starting point of two frames. Slow down the streams of the middle part and ramp up the strings. Now let's play it. Well, it is perfect. After you get what you want, click apply speed and here it's done. You could go with other bezel curves or customize your own speed revamping settings based on your preferences. After finishing this edits, the video still seems kinda rough but don't you worry. We can use some magic to enrich your details. Click the transitions bottom upper left. Within transitions effect, there are a lot of different things that you can use to control how you display your video. Choose some transitional fact that you want to leverage in your editing to level it up. You can also click the color inspector to adjust your parameters like exposure, contrast and sensation to get your desired results. Or if you want to save some work, turn to the 3D lots. In the color editor, there are a bunch of options and Pick one you want to work with. Well, this is how to change a color. 
Follow the same steps to colorize the following clips in that way your video will be more appealing. On top of that, another thing can do is to add a fact to insert effect for whatever reason you have. Click on effect, double click to preview the effect. Here I'm going to go with the shake and add them here to give the video a little more feeling. Don't forget to add a text, a description or whatever to your video. Click that little tab in the media library and choose a template that you like. Drop it to subtitle track and click on add text button right here. Open the text editor window. Here you can find a basket of text, styles and animations. And it could also adjust the parameters like text, size, position, color and font. After finish, click apply. Alright, now your video is all set. But wait, it is not the end. Click the export button and wait for the software to get all the work together. Make sure you enable hardware acceleration and have all your informations verified. Include basic settings, video properties and all that kind of stuff. And you could also select high quality to export with best quality. Now click start to export. Congratulations. Here you got your very first video, go sharing your video in your social media or with your friends. So that's all for today. If you like the video, feel free to share it with your friends and to get this superb software, check out the description box.